I have a problem. And the problem is I am almost out of arrows. So let me show you what I've come across. Oh, is that doing the line thing? I hope not. But the plan is, is I bought this router table for 60 bucks at a yard sale. And it also came with a bunch of router bits. And I got some scrap steel. I'm gonna use a couple of different ideas that I've seen people do, usually making dowels. Um, one guy, I saw a video, he, he was making arrow shafts similar to this. And, uh, but I can't find that video again, or I, I don't know who did it. But we're going to throw these together, make arrows on a router. Wood, not carbon. If I could figure out how to make carbon arrows, I definitely would. But we're sticking with wood for now. So here's my game plan with this. Uh, I'm going to put a straight flute bit on here. Then I'm going to make an alignment guide. And then out of this, I'm going to make an aligner. So that way, whenever this is bolted down, you'll run your shaft through here, it'll run next to this, and it'll cut it, and you'll put it in a drill, and it should make a big dowel. And that's all you're looking for, is a giant dowel. I'm gonna have to take this off, and cut this down, you know, figure it out, we'll work on it from there. This is what we've done so far. We took this wing off. I cut this piece of angle iron. This is, I think it should be two inch. Two inch. It's pretty thin. I don't think it really matters. And then I have this bar, I cut it off. You know, my cuts weren't perfect. I used the, I don't know what I used on this side, but this side I used the port band It's not perfect, but we'll clean it up on the lathe. So now, uh, before we bolt everything down, we need to true this up and we'll cut them and drill holes and you know that kind of stuff. Okay. So now I got this somewhat trued up. Now all I have to do, I'm gonna, the arrow shafts that I'm gonna make are 11 30 seconds. So I have an 11 30 seconds drill bit, which doesn't usually come in your standard kit. But the square stock that I'm gonna start off with is 3 8 And so if you measure 3 8 square from corner to corner, it's half inch. So a half inch hole should accept a 3 8 square and then we'll run it down to 11 30 seconds so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drill as much as i can 11 30 seconds cut a couple chunks off to weld on here then i'm going to make the starting point half inch should be fine i hope Now that I have these turned down with holes in them, in theory, all I have to do is stick them on there like this. You know, I don't know, probably pretty closer the better. And it should work. I got the, these little things welded on, not the best beads I've ran in my life. I'm not a huge fan of flux core, but you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. They're going to hold, just not great. They're just not, they don't look great, they're, but I actually ran two passes. So now, my biggest concern about this whole thing is getting it lined up. So what I'm going to do, before I even drill holes to bolt it down, I'm going to make an alignment jig, and I have found this, uh, and I found this chunk of aluminum, and I think what I want to do 
is I want to, so this is half inch already. I think I'm gonna turn this down to 11 30 seconds. So that way I can just slide this in and then adjust it to where it needs to be. And I'll put an adjuster on here, but I think that's gonna be much easier than just trial and error as you're going. So it's back to the piece of junk Chinese lathe again. Great. Okay, so now I have a little alignment pin. So I can line that up and I can just touch the router bit on the cutting edge. And that should be it. So now I can bolt this down, but I think I'm gonna spray some stuff on it and leave it for tomorrow. I'm sure it'll dry because right now it's 35 degrees in here with the heater on. So I'm sure it'll only take three days to dry. So we'll do that now. Yeah, this isn't gonna dry. Especially Rust-Oleum. Rust-Oleum takes forever. Works good though, when it does dry. Let me, let me explain what's going on here. So I just drilled some holes, bolted it down. I didn't even use a tape measure for hardly anything. Imagine that. But I did make this. This is the diameter that we want. And then it's this half inch. It's gonna start out a half inch. So what I'm thinking is using this alignment tool, I can line it up there, tighten everything down. Any fine tune adjustments I can use right here. I should have another nut on the other side of this, but I can't find one. So I'm thinking if, at least to try it, I think if I bolt these down tight enough, we can give it a whirl. So let's try it. I did not have wood. My plan is to go harvest some wood for this. So I did the next best thing and that was run to Lowe's and find some dug fir. And I tried to find the straightest grain that I could. And then I just ripped them, which this, this one's, you know, there was a knot in it. So I figured this would be a good practice one. Normally when you get arrows, they're 32 inches long. So I cut these to 36 cause I figured we could trim them off or do something. And looking at these, it looks like my math is gonna be wrong. I don't know, I might have to go bigger. But check this out. Because they're 3 8 everybody has some old extensions laying around that you know you got a little bit too carried away with the torques and busted them off. But because it's 3 8 on that end, fits perfect. So I'm going to check that up in the drill, run it through. I put this on this side kind of as a safety because if something goes flying, this can't be safe. And I'm guessing that there's going to be sawdust just flying everywhere. So make sure you wear your safety glasses if you build one of these. But let's see how bad my math was off. I'm thinking that it's going to not be round and there's going to be flat spots on it. But we'll give it a shot.
Okay. So, a couple things I've already figured out. I need to spin this a lot faster than my battery died on the drill. And I need to clamp this thing down somehow. But, it made, <laughs> it made threads almost. I think it's because I need to spin it faster. And then because there was high spots, it was getting hung up. But, it's actually working. I think that spine is going to be real weak. But, we'll try it again. We'll try a different drill. <laughs> this thing is brutal I don't know any weak point which I knew there was going to be some weak points where those knots were I don't know this might be a terrible idea but the faster drill does work so I'm going to cut some more I'll tell you what I come up with I've been playing around with it and what I ended up doing was going in getting a better board from Lowe's, which, you know, that's a feat in itself is just trying to find a straight board. But I got their best quality Doug fur. Then I, same thing, I just ripped it down on the table saw to three eighths square. And let me show you, with a little bit of practice and finesse, I'm getting a lot better results. So I think the biggest part was just the wood. This is not perfect. And there's a lot of flaws. But I'm gonna just run the rest of these. I've already done these ones. And then I'll show you from there once I get those done.
That is a 60. So I'll start making piles. So that one's 60. Why is everything I have homemade? Wow. This one is, actually this one's at 70. So we got 60, 70. I'm just gonna match them close as I can get. This one's also at 70. You get the point. My homemade spine tester. And what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna bore you with the details, but I'm going to, holy cow, this one's a 75. So put that one right here. I'm just gonna, so I'm gonna, obviously I'm gonna trim them up, try to pick the better ends. I'm gonna make some arrows up and then we'll go try it. So I'm just gonna skip right to that. This is probably the weirdest way to test arrows. <laughs> they came out pretty good though, surprisingly, for uh, boards from Lowe's. Uh, so, I'm sure you noticed, I fletched them with flu flu arrows. And uh, that's because I'm trying to kill some ducks, which is bizarre. I've never killed a duck with a bow. I've shot at a couple, but I've never specifically gone out duck hunting just with a bow. I've shot at a couple on tanks and stuff, um, but I've never really tried that hard. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, right at about five minutes after shooting light, I had one land and uh, Uh, I missed and so uh, I'm gonna keep giving it a shot these birds are really weary this time of year they've been shot at uh, who knows how many times um, but yeah I'm, I'm about to give up but yeah I'm about to give up on the decoys and try to start sneaking up on some sometimes I have better luck doing that where I'm I'll show you where I'm set up it's not the best setup ever just threw a few decoys out the ducks always end up right here and uh, so I figured I'd set up here. If anybody's a local, you'll know where I'm at. It's public land. But uh, yeah, oh, here comes some right here. I normally set up, but there's a deer over there too. I'm about to head out. But this is what my game plan was.
It's a good thing I only bring a few decoys out at a time, because I don't like to carry them. But I bet I could fix that. Anyways, that's how the arrows fly. I might shoot a couple more, just so you guys can see how they fly. Okay, I'm going to try to hit that duck from over here. Oh, nope. Every time I get up to end this video, ducks keep flying by. Still can't get a shot though, so I think I'm going to call it. These arrows held up just fine. Uh, they're a little bit stiff for this bow, but that's just the wood, not the process of making them. Uh, the one that I shot into the decoy broke. Or it didn't even completely break, it just cracked whenever I was pulling it out. But these other ones I've been shooting at dirt and sticks and stuff. Oh, here comes some ducks. That went far. I missed again. Anyways, so they're, they fly fine. Now I have to walk way over there to get that arrow. But um, the thing I like about duck hunting is the dogs working. I didn't bring my dog because I was worried about him getting a broadhead in him. I think I'm going to try it again. I'm going to bring the dog next time. If you've ever duck hunted with the bow, let me know. I'm kind of curious on how how it works and how it plays out. Um, but other than that, I hope you got something from this, making these arrows. Maybe you can make them yourself, but have a good one.